your arteries are getting clogged by bad sleep each and every single night to the level that it almost doesn't matter what the heck you eat, especially if you have sleep apnea. Let's talk about these three things that are going on in your arteries when you're not sleeping well and like you have a pause in breathing at night so that we can do something about it and reverse it. So number one is going to be a decrease in nitric oxide. This is the molecule that not only allows you to easily breathe through your nose, it also keeps your blood vessels wider so you're not forming all these plaques. Number two is widespread inflammation. That is going to take the cholesterol in your blood, make it oxidized, and that's gonna hurt your arteries. Number three is when your nervous system is in overdrive from poor breathing at night, that raises your blood pressure, which will then lead to more plaque formation. A lot of different ways to combat this. It's gonna vary on each person what's gonna be the best, but something everybody can try out is going to be alternate nasal breathing. Yes, breathing through your nose, through your arteries, because it literally reverses those three problems we talked about. So number one, is it's gonna increase nitric oxide and then it's gonna help you sleep better, which will reduce inflammation. And then by sleeping better and breathing better, you're not gonna have those nervous system jolts. So how you do it, place one finger, right nostril, breathe in through the left and then close it off, breathe through the right, then inhale, switch, exhale. And you just cycle through that, do that five, 10 minutes before bed. Follow for more sleep apnea insights and then get the free guide at apneareset.com.